the volcano ammunition is uh, an ammunition that we have developed. Uh, we start development more than 10 years ago. And uh, today I could say that uh, both versions, the uh, ballistic extended range uh, as well as uh, the GLR, are uh, close to be qualified by the Italian army and uh, also from uh, German, uh, German army. Uh, the uh, <coughs> capability are to have an ammunition that uh, is uh, capable to be fired from any kind of 155 uh, millimeter uh, system. And uh, in this case, I could mention also CRUB that uh, could be equipped with this kind of ammunition. And uh, the capability is uh, to reach uh, very long distances. We are talking about uh, um, 80 kilometers for the 155 uh, ammunition. And uh, um, with a reduction, a drastic reduction of the collateral damages, because uh, we are reaching, of course, those long distances but with a great precision, metric precision, let me say, due to uh, our uh, programming uh, uh, fuse in, in the ammunition. And the final, uh, uh, so we are firing from, uh, as I told you, from uh, any kind of the system, any kind of howitzer, uh, 155 millimeter. We are firing at the maximum elevation. We are reaching the apogeo, and later on the system is uh, flying down and is gliding down like a, a J, <coughs> JDAM system, let me say, and so is uh, gliding up to, the, up to the target. In the final uh, phase, uh, it's going down in vertical, uh, in vertical way, so the effectiveness of the system is uh, even higher and uh, uh, is uh, um, capable to be um, drived by uh, IR or SAL, semi-active laser. So in such a case, uh, we can even uh, change uh, the la uh, last phase, uh, change the, um, the target, uh, the target that is uh, uh, in our mind. Um, up to today, I repeat, the system is uh, fully operative. We could start the production from 2019. The BEAR, the Ballistic Extended Range, has been already in, is already in service and is already in, in production and has been also sold to other customers. Uh, what else is uh, <coughs> very interesting for Poland to uh, participate to uh, the joint program uh, with us, uh, as we have done already with the Slovak Army, for example, in uh, in uh, in, uh, uh, in a construct uh, company, where we have uh, at the end of the story we have uh, uh, checked and tested the uh, bare um, the bare ballistic extended range ammunition. We cannot, uh, uh, mm, let's say, show the capability of. Uh, of the guidance of the guided uh, ammunition due to the long distances required uh, that uh, are forcing us also to, to test the system in South Africa, for example. But uh, in the ballistic, uh, in the ballistic extending range, um, uh, let's say um, in this way, we can uh, evaluate the capability of the system itself uh, to, to, to use uh, this kind of ammunition. First of all, I would like to say that uh, um, Rosomac and uh, the turret, uh, it is the turret uh, today is uh, mainly produced in Poland. So it's not a Leonardo turret. It's a Leonardo concept, but is uh, made in Poland. Uh, we were talking about the capability to integrate the spike uh, uh, launchers uh, um, with the possibility to, sp to, to fire the spike uh, ammunition, of course, uh, in order to give the uh, capability of anti-tank uh, uh, to the system. And that has been done in Italy. We have already did it. And the, the turret is exactly the same, and we have already in service. Um, today we have... Uh, we had a contract with the Italian army and we have another contract up to the, uh, at the end we will have more or less 60 or 65 uh, uh, vehicles equipped with the spike uh, uh, missile uh, uh, launchers. Uh, the same proposal we have uh, done to Poland, and uh, we uh, right now I think that we are waiting for the uh, new um, uh, 
plan of modernization, which is going to be issued in a short time, I hope, in which uh, I hope to find, of course, uh, also the integration of Spike. And so, uh, having said this, I could say that uh, nothing else, that this system is ready. Is ready, is uh, already in the hands of Rosomac. Uh, we have uh, uh, already uh, equipped the turret uh, with the spike launchers in the past. We have also shown in, in Kiel's exhibition, we are at any time ready to start up and to show the capability of the system. So uh, we'll be, of course, also in this case, uh, we will use the uh, in, in the Polish industry for the integration uh, of the launcher and uh, for the electronics uh, that has to be modifying. At the end uh, of the project, uh, this uh, uh, new uh, capability will uh, uh, also renew the, the turret capability because uh, uh, also the electronics in this case will be modified. So uh, let's say that uh, when the project will be in place and when will be completely um, integrated, uh, the turret will be a, a totally new turret uh, capable to defeat uh, the target uh, uh, tank uh, like the Russian, uh, Russian tank on the board. As, uh, as far as I understood even from the forum of today, uh, I um, uh, was uh, uh, in a certain way underlined that uh, the capability of uh, an anti-tank possibility in Poland is very weak. That we, that you, sorry, you don't have, uh, you do not have uh, those capabilities. Uh, you do not have uh, a, 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 an anti-tank system. You do not have uh, a main battle tank capable to fight against uh, this, uh, uh, these uh, threats. Uh, I believe that uh, the integration of the launchers is uh, the faster and cheaper solution for the time being. You can apply with this uh, capability in a uh, few months, let's say, from when will be required, and uh, will involve the, totally the Polish uh, industry, so the capability will be high.